you will watch this video and think I knew marine life was dying on the west coast. But wow, I didn't think it could be this bad. A very disturbing situation is unfolding on the western coast of Mexico, the US and Canada. Sea turtles, whales, sea lions, birds, fish, starfish and a host of other marine life are dying and the experts don't know why. Last week the Federal Attorney for Environmental Protection detected the deaths of 150 specimens of sea turtles during a tour conducted by scientists at Scamon Lagoon located in Black Guero, Baja, California. The agency reported that the probable cause of death for the marine turtles was hypothermic caused by the low temperatures recorded in the region during the cold season, which is highly unlikely considering the sea temperatures in the area is warmer than ever before according to NOAA. The Profepa spokesman also added that on January the 13th, 14 corpses of grey whales were found dead, but according to specialists of the Mexican Society of Marine Mammalogy, this is not an extraordinary event with respect to records of previous years. On the very same day, another incident occurred in the area of Scamon Lagoon, where 16 brown turtles were found dead. Once again, the cause of death was attributed to hypothermia due to low temperatures. In the same week, a mysterious, never before seen grey gooey substance was killing birds along San Francisco Bay. A mysterious grey gooey substance killed 20 seabirds along San Francisco Bay's eastern shoreline and fouled the feathers of another 69 birds fighting to survive at a Fairfield Bird Rescue Centre. On the same day, 554 seabirds and four sea lions were found dead on beaches in Baja, California, Mexico. More recent reports of hundreds more sea lions have been found dead in the San Felipe area of Mexico. On the 8th of January 2015, the Big Wobble asked, what killed 100,000 Cassin Auklets, which have been found dead along the Pacific coast since October? The little birds are dying off at 100 times the normal rate, experts say. On the 2nd of January, we asked, ecological decline along the west coast of America, a natural event or is something more sinister to blame? When dead seabirds littered the beaches of Oregon in what was the latest disturbing scene on the west coast of America. On the 20th of December 2014, hundreds of dead fish were found floating on the coast of Guaymas, Mexico. In November, on the Hawaiian coast, a significant fish kill in the Kopoho tide pools represented yet another worrisome event within a fragile ecosystem that is seemingly under siege from all sides. Usually teeming with brightly coloured fish and diversity of coral reefs, the pools turned a dark reddish brown and neighbours and visitors discovered dead fish of various species floating submerged in the water. Among the species found dead were sea cucumbers, crabs, various invertebrates and other creatures. In late October, Alaska, mass die-offs of Sitka sea stars was reported. There had been a few reports of six sea stars in Alaska, but this was a shock. The first mass die-offs in the state were detected. Their legs melt off and just crawl away from their bodies. They contort themselves. Then they just started to decay. Since there are so many bacteria in the water, they just kind of break down after that point, a local diver said. In the beginning of October, scientists reported that a wasting disease had nearly wiped out all the starfish at Haystack Rock, a popular visitor's destination on the Oregon coast. Haystack Rock Awareness Program Coordinator Samantha Ferber says roughly 90% of the starfish, which are also called sea stars, perished. On 26th of September 2014, a large number of dead birds were found on Pismo Beach 
in California. On September the 3rd, thousands of dead fish were found on the shore of the estuary in Mazatlan, Mexico. According to eyewitnesses, the fish agonized for hours. The starfish are dying in such an alarming rate, scientists fear they will soon be extinct and they are dying in a gruesome way too. Their bodies are deteriorating and literally the starfish are ripping themselves apart. The mass deaths began in June 2013 and are being attributed to what researchers are calling sea star wasting syndrome. Billions of oysters and scallops have died over the past two years. Oyster farms on British Columbia's south coast has experienced 80 to 90 percent mortality of young shellfish. It was in the billions, the owner said, of the Pacific oysters that died only a few months after they were hatched. In August 2014, it was reported that dead fish were washing up along Alaska's Kobuk River estuary in astonishing numbers. From Shugnak all the way down to Kotzebue, along the coast, people were reporting dead fish washing up on the banks of northwest Alaska's Kobuk River in astonishing numbers. In January 2014, we reported sardine had vanished and bluefin tuna was all but gone and anchovies were also declining along the west coast. There have been many more incidents like these, too many to report. With cesium-134, the so-called fingerprints of Fukushima beginning to show on the American west coast, just how far will the radiation reach?